I believe personally that we all go through life having all kinds of different experiences. Obviously we do. We have beautiful experiences. We have blissful, happy, loving experiences. And these really help shape us in, in our lives and who we are. But we also, sadly, I guess, but I guess this is why we're here, we also have experiences that are painful, that are suffering. You know, we might have heartbreak. I guess who doesn't go through life having heartbreak? We might have a divorce. We might lose a loved one. We might have some traumatic kind of incident happen to us. And, you know, my understanding of this, this is the only way I can make sense of this. I believe that when these painful things happen, we're here to experience them, to, feel, to have that feeling, to process them, to release them because we're not meant to carry that around for the rest of our lives. And then as the final part to grow from them. And I believe that's why we come here. This is my personal belief system I'm sharing with you. That's why we come here and experience this suffering so that we can grow as humans, so that we can become more empathic, so we can open up to a higher level of humanity and see other people and find forgiveness and all of those things. But I think what happens for so many of us, that beautiful process I just talked about doesn't happen, okay? What happens instead, instead of feeling the pain, the pain becomes so overwhelming at the time that instead of feeling it, we trap it in the, at the moment. We trap it in our bodies. We bury the emotion, the painful emotion. We bury the story, becomes the memory. You know, we weave the vibration of the trauma into our bodies, into our muscles. We hold on to it. You can see it in some people. I can look at people and see in their body shape, see where they're holding, see with their pain, where they're holding blocked emotion. But it's not even just in our body. We also trap it in our energy field, in our chakras. So if you think we've got these beautiful chakras, these sort of, you know, spiraling vortexes of energy, keeping us vital and healthy and alive, and then <coughs> Suddenly we trap it in and we start to clog up the energy system. And it's not even just that. I know this is sounding really tragic, isn't it? But from the Jungian perspective, we chuck it down into the unconscious because we don't want to know about it. It scares us. We don't want to know about it. So we go into the basement of our minds and we push it down into the unconscious. <sighs> and we pretend none of it is happening and we try and do life from here. Okay, and you can just imagine. And then we might keep doing that over and over again and we're trapping more and more and more in. Now, two things happen here, okay? The first is we become an enormous magnet to keep attracting those exact kinds of experiences over and over again. You know, if you've had betrayal and you haven't processed it, you haven't dealt with it, you will just keep attracting betrayal, you know, experiences that are that kind of theme around betrayal over and over. You can get stuck in your story. See, I can't trust anyone. Everyone's gonna hurt me. You just get stuck in that. But I believe what it is on a soul level, the soul is drawing these experiences, magnetizing them back to you to show you this isn't healed. You need to heal this. So it's our soul giving us the, a kind of, um, you know, what's, the, what's that? I can't remember the saying now. Um, gift in disguise, you know, that, <laughs> that, that's the kind of thing. It is a gift in disguise when, when we get this kind of pain coming back to us. But as well as that, Think about all this, everything I just spoke about, I won't do all that again, where we've trapped everything in. What starts to happen? We can't hold on to that. So this is where it starts to fester within us and it starts to pop out of our bodies. This is where we get the illnesses that we don't understand. This is where we get the, um, the pains in our bodies that we don't understand. And then it starts to pop out into our lives. This becomes like the addictions that we get. This becomes the eating disorder that we develop that we don't know why. This becomes this toxic patterns of behavior that we get stuck in. Can you see, this is the depression, this is the anxiety. These are all symptoms, that's all they are, of this energy that we have trapped from the past. So this is why I am so passionate about chakra dance because this is what chakra dance does. Chakra dance is a Jungian-based movement therapy modality. It's this incredible fusion of soul work, energy work, Jungian work, body work, chakra work, 
fuse together as a process for us to go in and start to release this. You might have 40 years of this, okay? This is why it's a process. We don't want to have to go in and blast 40 years open in one session. That's not how Jungian, you know, it's not a safe way to work. That's not how we work. It's a practice where we go in and we start to slowly, say, with sacredness, with safety, go in and start to release all of these held blocked emotions, blocked experiences, unresolved memories, traumas that we've been holding on to. And this is the beauty. People, when they do this, are like, wow, I feel so free. That's what we hear. I feel like I've come home to myself. I can't tell you, witnessing this in others, experiencing this yourself <coughs> is amazing. Okay, but this is just the beginning. It's once you're releasing, you're feeling the freedom of releasing all of this blocked emotion, then you start to, to activate and tune back in to who you already are underneath all of this. This is where you find the gift in each of the chakras. This is where you open up to your full passion, your full power, where you can love your creativity. You find your truth. You find your inspiration. You find the authentic soul version of you in this body ready to step out and live the life that you are meant to lead without all this baggage that you're carrying. So this is the absolute beauty of chakra dance. You can see why I'm so passionate about it and why it helps so many people.